for us to show that BC is equal to root 2 plus 6 all over 2. Now we've got a right angled triangle, the main triangle here. This in fact is the right angle, the square has not quite been drawn correctly. Um, and so if we can work out the hypotenuse, then we can work out that length BC. And this can be done because we have this smaller triangle inside. And so BE is going to be the hypotenuse here, 2 squared minus 1 squared, all square rooted, so root 3. And therefore this length BA is going to be root 3 plus 1. So now I can write down, if I consider this angle here as my 45 degrees, I've got cos 45 is going to be BC over the hypotenuse, root 3 plus 1. And therefore BC is going to be root 3 plus 1 times cos 45, which is 1 over root 2. You can put that in your calculator, but yeah, that's the exact value of it. So root 3 plus 1 over root 2 going to times top and bottom by root 2. So we rationalize the denominator because that's what's been done here. Uh, also going to swap them round. So I've got root 2 plus root 3 times root 2, which is root 6, all over 2. Now we're going to consider triangle BCD and show that sine 15 is this. So that is going to involve the hypotenuse, which we've got as 2, and the opposite, OK. So looking at AD, that is simply going to equal root 2, because we have a right angle triangle here. So it's just 1 squared plus 1 squared square rooted. Maybe I'll just write that down. So AD equals 1 squared plus 1 squared square rooted root 2. And therefore, CD is going to be this root 2 plus root 6 all over 2, because they're the same length. It's, it's the same BC, maybe I should just write it down, that um, BC is equal to AC. So and I just need to minus the root 2 here. And I could, I could put it over a common denominator. I'm just sort of trying to decide. So it's going to be root 2 plus root 6 minus 2 root 2 all over 2. OK, ah, this is working well now because I've got my root 6 minus root 2 and the answer all over 2. And therefore, sine 15 is going to be CD over 2, because that's the hypotenuse here, so it's BD, 2, so it's root 6 minus root 2 over 2, all over 2, and that gives root 6 minus root 2 over 4, and we've done it, and what a really nice result, we've actually, um, you know, in theory, if you know your exact values of trig, your sine 30 and so on, you can, you know, you can write them down. And this is like a first principles derivation of sine 15. So, yeah, really good question.